Okay, since we can't meet up right now, um, with, uh, our Wednesday evening meetings having been cancelled due to the virus, I thought I would um, make a short video on on this uh, remote VFO I've been constructing. So, in the absence of uh, PCB services right now, I've done it all with uh, perf board and uh, point to point wiring. Um, but basically it runs with the Raspberry Pi 4, which we see here. And you've got a module, an AD9850, analog device AD9850 module. So this is a DDS uh, frequency synthesizer. The um, the clock at the top, so it's a 125 MHz clock. Uh, and the chip itself generates basically... Uh, sine wave at whatever frequency you choose within its range um, there's a there's low pass filter on the board as well and uh, basically uh, basically this is this 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 is the circuit we've got here so we've got the the module itself here and uh, this is the connector for the raspberry pi um these two i've I've only actually put one of them because the, the board's getting rather overcrowded underneath and i'm having trouble getting any more wires in um but these control the transmit and whether the external vfo controls transmit and receive on the uh on the drake and there's a there's a connect you've got a connector here um the logic for actually switching whether to use the external VFO is actually in the radio itself. Um, there's some, it all runs on 13.6 volts, but but basically what happens is when when you when you this this on the 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 old RV7 would just be a, a physical switch, um, but here it's it's a um, it's a circuit. Sorry, it's a, these two. It's a circuit controlled by the Raspberry Pi through a couple of GPIO pins, um, basically to turn uh, trans uh, the the external VFO on for transmit or receive or both. And basically, when 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 these switch here, so you've got a, a an N channel MOSFET which gets turned on by the Raspberry Pi and the P channel one that uh, brings the the outputs here to 13 volts. There, there, there's there's a little bit of logic inside the radio, uh, basically just bipolar transistors, which turns on this RV7 enable line, um, which is 13.6 volts DC. And onto that, basically, we superimpose our uh, five megahertz remote VFO. Oh, well, it's five megahertz to it's that's the set. That's basically the 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 the, the reference frequency. Obviously, it's a VFO, so it moves around that. Um, so the 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 module itself, it doesn't it doesn't produce quite enough output to drive the radio on its own. So there's this little one single MOSFET amplifier here just to just to give it enough drive um, and on the back of the radio there's actually one of these that plugs into the back of the radio through one of these cinch jones connectors it's actually not a bnc connector the uh the external vfo but all the signals are basically all all, all this up here comes through on the back of the radio to this so anyway, uh, that's that circuit is built. So this this I'm controlling both uh, transmit and receive simultaneously with this, so it can basically it's either on or off. Um, and so there, there's your there's the amplifier, um, and I've got a little BNC here just to just to connect it to the back of the radio. Uh, standard old forty pin. I I don't know where I got that ribbon cable from it look I, I don't think it's actually off a hard drive um although it's the same kind of thing uh, from the old the old um id hard drive type um type of connectors but yeah i had a what was very what was, what was very helpful in all this project is i have this this thing here the uh the the drake tr7 service manual and it's a it's a rather nice book um let me looking at here so um where are we so this this part of it here is the, the bit i'm interfacing to so your know, nice schematic diagram and basically the whole thing with that 13 volts on the rv7 enable is that it forward biases a uh a pin diode, uh, appropriate pin diodes uh, you know whether you're the internal or external vfo um 
and that's basically how it all works but yeah the, the, the manual's rather nice it's got a list of all the parts uh, schematics for everything everything you ever wanted to possibly want to know about the TR7 basically so yes it's a it's a rather useful book that is um, but the I've only got as far as uh, a command line utility so where are we um, and change the frequency through uh, this this command here um, so I just put the uh, so 14 mega 14 megahertz here so let's see 14 one let's see 0, 074 which is the uh, see if I want to press N so you'll see it goes out and we can hear all if I turn the volume up a bit we can hear all the FT8 yes um, and the, the output tells you what frequencies it's set to and of course it can't it can't turn this knob here so um, the, the band select knob so the command line utility just tells you um, what 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 to turn that knob to you can, uh, and also I can uh, I can switch the external VFO off so we go to whatever the um, the, the, the regular PTO is and we've got somebody on here yeah this power supply up here is actually for the uh, it's for the Yasu up there the um, the Drake has, has this rather impressive linear power supply down here um, but yeah, so uh, once our virus crisis is off, I hope to develop this further with a proper PCB and perhaps things like controlling the um, controlling the uh, push to talk and all that kind of thing, and maybe an audio interface built into it as well. But yeah, so that's basically what I've been been soldering up these last couple of days I've had off. Uh, Anyway, hopefully we'll be back. We won't be too many weeks before we can actually meet again physically in the clubhouse.